everyone, it's John Pinson coming to you from Oakland headquarters here in Vancouver. I have some very important news to share with you all today. If you are a buyer or a seller, you must watch this video. It's going to affect how uh, the real estate market plays out in the next four to six months. And I personally am seeing things change rapidly in the past week. So you do not want to miss this video. Subscribe down below, smash that thumbs up button, and let's get started. So I had a listing that I told everyone about a few last week is out in Langley. It was a detached house, 4,000 square foot lot, built in 1983, roughly 16, 1700 square foot property. And these type of homes were selling off the shelf like hotcakes the past two, three, four months. And we were coming to a crescendo and I was predicting house prices would kind of soften um, coming into summer here. But I didn't predict that prices would actually start softening so quickly. And actually, that's what I want to reveal to you today. I want to go over the sale and tell you if this is actually happening just in Langley or if it's happening uh, trending across Canada. And if you do want to stay to the end of this video, I have some actually deals on houses and condos if you're trying to get into the market and you're getting priced out. Uh, I specifically have researched some available properties that have beautiful gardens outside and rental, extra rental income suites to help you um, pay that mortgage payment. So that will, is for everyone that stays to the end of this video, but let me analyze this house sale in Langley further in detail. It was uh, listed for $899,000 and I was expecting personally roughly 50 to 100 people to come through this uh, open house I had or by private appointment on Saturday and Sunday this past weekend. However, this was not the case. I uh, started getting kind of odd feelings around Thursday. I listed it last Wednesday, March 17th, and I started gaining a couple showing requests here and there, but I was expecting to get 10, 15 per day up until the Saturday. And what do you know? I just received roughly 17, 18 requests in total. And then by the time Saturday and Sunday came around, I was getting cancellations uh, for both days. Mind you, the weather was a little tricky, but um, I was really kind of flabbergasted on how the, the momentum of all the buyers kind of just deteriorated rapidly. And I wasn't seeing the, the excitement that I was just seeing uh, two weeks ago, even in the detached housing market. In my opinion, I think it's buyer fatigue. I've talked to many other real estate agents and mortgage advisors and they're saying the same thing. There's a huge deterrent right now um, competing against these um, multiple offer situations. People are kind of getting stressed out and they feel like they just can't get into the market on what they want to do and they feel like they might be overpaying. So they are transferring to another segment of the market, the condo market, which I will get to more in detail. But first, let me dive into this Langley market situation um, more. So you probably want to know what this house sold for. Well, to give the whole quick overview, I did 16, 17 showings Saturday and Sunday, and I took offers uh, just this past Tuesday. And we actually um, only received one offer, subject free, thank God. It was sight unseen, the buyer had never visited the property, and we sold the house for $902,000. So yay, we, we sold it. Um, but we were predicting a price roughly 950 to a million dollars in this specific neighborhood. It's called Willoughby Heights. It's in Langley city. It's an older development. It was built in the 1980s, beautiful, uh, small little properties and an elementary school right next door to this house, just a couple blocks away. So we thought there's going to be a huge driver of young families coming through. There were, and uh, it was pr primarily just millennials and their parents coming through. There's this massive generational transfer of wealth happening with houses and baby boomers selling off and giving money to their kids to buy these these um, cheaper priced properties around a million dollars compared to what these our parents own two three four million dollar homes across the lower mainland but so nine hundred and two thousand dollars I was I was kind of I was kind of a sad for my sellers because I was telling them that there's a chance we could get 950 million but then I I, they were happy. They found a place in the Okanagan, and I'm very happy for them. So I was once this happened, I started diligently researching: is this just happening in Langley? So first things first, I started looking at the sales in Langley, and it turns out just down the street at um, 
Another property uh, that was selling for $988,000, uh, 2259 Willoughby Way, just down the street from mine at 2224 Willoughby Way, they uh, had an offer presentation on March 17th, the day I listed last week. So I called the listing agent and I asked him, so what did it sell for? And he told me, John, we didn't receive one offer. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Um, what's going on? And uh, he says, I don't know, John, the, the market is, was just started to become quiet and, and we don't know where all the buyers went. Mind you, March 14th was the time chain. So maybe people were just um, feeling a little tired, just adjusting to the new uh, time. But then my offer presentation came around on Tuesday this week and I didn't receive one offer up until 3.57 p.m. So I had a nice deep sigh that we got one offer, but just down the street, no offer, and his house was renovated, mine wasn't, and he still couldn't get an offer. Thank God I just heard that he just sold it for full asking price, 988. But I was expecting this house to go sell for 1.1, 1.15. Because the other properties in the neighborhood uh, that have been selling recently have been selling for a million dollars in this price range, 4,000 square foot property without a rental suite. And the properties that are um, with a rental suite we're selling for around 1.2 million. And then, then just this past week, there was a house on the same street on Willoughby is way. And it was uh, asking 2251. It was asking 1.1 million and it does have a kitchen down below. So they do have a kind of a different floor plan. It's a different kind of buyer that needs that mortgage suite versus the house that I was selling. It didn't. Any, anyways, built in 1980, old house. Guess what it sold for? Asking 1.1. It sold for 50000 below the asking price. So um, major shift in buyer sentiment on versus detached and leaning towards condos, which I'm going to get into more. But yeah, this place has a basement suite, sold for $1,050,000. And the place just up the street a couple weeks ago sold for $1.2 million, uh, 2377 Wakefield Court, built in 1984, came with a rental suite asking nine ninety nine. So... $150,000 drop basically for a same kind of house in the same neighborhood uh, in a matter of weeks. I don't know how long this might continue. I wasn't expecting such a um, drop off in buyers within a couple weeks. I thought it was just going to gently go down. Um, I'm still predicting um, that these properties are going to sell near asking price um, with what I've been seeing, but who knows? There might be kind of just a huge buyer fatigue and people might just stay on the sidelines and see where this plays out and they might try to get a deal uh, going into the next month. But because we are seeing more inventory come up, there's more choice for buyers, which they didn't see December, January, February, early March, but this is traditionally the spring market. And I have been telling you, all you buyers that wait for April, May, there's more coming. And so there's going to be less competition. So I'm actually very excited for the buyers uh, to not have to be in a stressful situation, not have to compete in offers. Hopefully, this might have just been a spring break while the kids were at um, away at home and on vacation. But So let's see what happens in early April. But if I were a buyer buying a house, um, I still see a very healthy, strong balance um, going forward. But you still might um, not have as many bidding wars happening, specifically for the properties that don't have a rental suite or some sort of unique proposition um, such as a huge yard or a nice renovation. But if it's just a normal house um, with no renovations, nothing special about it, it's going to be harder to sell. I don't think it's going to last on the market a month, but I still see these normal homes that we're selling very quick. I think it's going to take maybe a couple weeks now to possibly sell because what happened this past week is kind of just an in indicator on what might happen. So that was Langley. Um, what, what's happening across Canada? Did my research. Ontario has the same thing happening. They are having offer presentations for detached homes um, in Durham, all these random little cities an hour or two away from tr Toronto, where they're receiving 10, 20 offers. And just in the past 10 days, since March 14th, 15th, um, there are many real estate agents that are not seeing any offers for these properties. So it's not just in Langley, in Vancouver, it's across Canada. I think we are seeing buyer fatigue and it is transitioning into the condo market. So which that's what I'm gonna go into in this next part of the video. I was wondering where all the buyers went actually. There, 
I was really expecting 30, 40 people coming through the house. And, and so I thought maybe everyone's just stopped buying. Maybe everyone's just taking a break for spring, for spring break, right? Well, no. Uh, it turns out they were all uh, switching their attention to the condos this past two weeks. And I just seen that increase as we go into spring and summer. I was predicting this would happen, that the houses would kind of peak. And it looks like they have peaked as of February and they are kind of just softening and kind of staying level. And we're going to see the condos trajectory still go up. I still see another 15, 20% for condos at least going into the summer, especially if Justin Trudeau comes out with his first time home buyer incentive, increasing the threshold from 500 to $720,000, which will make it a huge demand for all the one bedroom condos and even townhomes in Surrey, Langley, up to $700,000. So the buyers did not disappear. Where did they go? They went to the condos. And where, which kind of condos did they want to buy in this past two weeks? Well, I did some quick research and I found uh, there's a pre-sale property with a 275 units on King George Highway next to the, uh, the hospital in the SkyTrain station with high-end finishings, oversized balconies, and air conditioning, uh, which is kind of unique compared to the other condos that have been built in the King George corridor where there are a whole bunch of new condo developments happening. But this specific one um, is something that really caught the attention of many investors, local, not foreign investors yet, at least for this project called the Belvedere on King George Highway. 275 units just sold out between Friday and Sunday, incredible. So that's where all my buyers were. They went to the condo pre-sale in Surrey on King George. And there was actually another unit over down on the West End asking $599,000, uh, full renovation, only 700 square feet, but a beautiful oversized patio. Um, amazing, it looked beautiful. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not surprised that it's sold over asking, but $140,000 over asking for a 1970s condo where rentals aren't allowed. Um, I do have the address here for you. It, it happens at, um, oh, where is it? One second here. Uh, it happened on Nelson Avenue, downtown on the West End. I don't, I can't find the exact address, but yeah, it was a one bedroom, one bath, and it was listed for five hundred ninety nine thousand dollars. It sold for seven hundred forty thousand dollars. So, and three of those offers out of the eleven were subject free, over seven hundred thousand, but they took the one for seven forty. So, congratulations to that seller. And there was another one over on um, West Eleventh two bedroom, two bath suite with an oversized patio, huge garden patio, uh, asking about $1.3 million. Uh, 1333 West 11th, asking 1.389, it sold for 1.670 assessment, value 1.270. So roughly 400,000 over assessment and a couple hundred thousand over asking price for a two bedroom condo uh, built about 20 years ago. But Awesome location, awesome garden feature outside. You are seeing people uh, covet these garden spaces around these condos. So look for ground level garden suites if you are an investor or looking for a first time uh, to buy because in the future people are going to put a premium on having more outdoor space where they can have all this nice fresh air and oxygen not have the, the air from the inside of the condo constantly 24 hours a day. Which... Um, Basically leads me to my last segment of this video. I want to help you find a, a perfect property, house or condo. So I have a couple of both for you to choose from today. First, I actually have a brand new listing, uh, which is my daily top pick of the week, if you say it, if you can say it like that. Um, it is at 2110 East 10th, um, roughly three blocks north of Trout Lake. So if you're a nature lover, if you like biking, it's right on the Greenway, um, right beside Commercial Drive, seven minute walk to Commercial Drive Station, right across the street from Laura Secord Elementary School, built in 2012. It has six bedrooms, six bathrooms, three bedrooms up, three bedrooms down, which is a two, divided into a two bedroom rental suite and a one bedroom Airbnb suite. I have many showings actually booked for this house. Um, if you do have a house that is not renovated, it has no income streams, don't expect as many showings, but still, if you have something of value and that's very unique, such as the property that I'm gonna be selling, I do expect it to sell this weekend. We're listed for 1.999, assessment value 1.8 million. I do expect it to at least sell for 2 million 
uh, asking price, at least possibly more 2.1, 2.2, but we'll see. You never know. Let's whatever what happened in the past couple of weeks, it might come off in in this uh, property as well. But it's very unique. It's in Trout Lake. A lot of young families want to live here, and you do have the two, possibly three income streams if you put a laneway home in the back of the property. And built in 2012, there's not many new homes in Trout Lake area, so that is something to, to look at. Um, so yeah, 1.99 million, Trout Lake, Saturday, Sunday, 1 to 4 p.m. if you want to have a look, if you are looking for detached property. And I found a couple condos um, in a lower price point, not over a million dollars or over 800,000. If you're kind of just getting in the market for the first time, you want to kind of get in the action, because I do see condos increasing up. Uh, this year and let alone 2022 end of 2021 when there's a flight of people waiting i have people messaging me on through youtube and email from hong kong right now india they're ready to board the plane to come here they're buying sight unseen some of them but most want to wait for this quarantine to finish it's not the price even for them they just don't want to be stuck in a hotel in vancouver with a whole bunch of people um and they don't know when they can get out so there are a huge amount of international people that are going to be looking to buy a condo in Vancouver um, for four hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars in the coming year so if you do buy anything around four hundred five hundred thousand expect to make a good return in the next couple of years so I'd highly suggest um, looking at some condos in areas not just Mount Pleasant and Kitsilano one specific condo I have here I just found a Marple under five hundred thousand it was listed for it's listed at four hundred thirty eight thousand dollars uh, 103 1445 West 70th Avenue the buildings being completely rain screened it's 524 square feet built built in 1991 and it has a 160 170 square foot patio that you can see right here I'll put a picture up right now and it's a beautiful outdoor patio and I do see a potential to kind of do a mini upgrade put ten thousand dollars in make it all trendy and modern it's not modernized yet so you could kind of just come in and make a quick buck if you want and flip it but long term I would hold it as well because it does look like it's a sound investment they've done a lot of updates in this building and the strata fee still under $350 per month so that is uh, my second pick of the week and the third pick I have is over in Grandview Woodland over in commercial drive area 209 1429 East 4th Avenue 631 square feet asking $499,000 uh, assessment 448,000 it's been recently green screened. It faces south. It's overlooking an elementary school field, so you'll never lose your view. And uh, yeah, roof was done in 2018. A whole bunch of uh, strata things have been um, applied to this property. So yeah, that's uh, they take offers March 30th. So that's another condo I would look at in the future here. And uh, Big things happened this past week. I was shocked. I didn't think this, this would happen so fast where buyers would just all suddenly disappear in the same week. I saw a 50% drop, and but they have transitioned over into the condo segment. Pre-sales, the highest amount of pre-sales that's happened in the past five years. And we're gonna have to look to Surrey. There's a ma massive amount of room to grow in Surrey, King George Corridor, Wally. So definitely something to look into for pre-sales if you are looking to get into the condo market, but also other areas of Vancouver, Trout Lake, Commercial Drive, Marple, also underpriced, still under 500000 So yes, the bubble might have burst for the detached homes. I don't see it deflating 20 30%, but I do see a softening um, possibly where you can negotiate a deal maybe 5% below asking price. But we are coming to a spring market. More buyers will keep coming out to buy a home. But if you are a seller, keep in mind that you do you might want to finish that renovation that you thought you might not need to, to do. Get that flooring in, repaint the walls. An extra five thousand dollars in reno is gonna go a long way now to decipher make your house more appealing than the other properties. Um, because there is more choice available right now, and I want to see you sell your house quickly. And as a buyer, I'm very happy that you don't have to go on multiple offers um, as much. It's looking like one to three offers now for detached homes, possibly one or two, and maybe none if the house um, is just not that valuable in terms of rental income or a nice property. So 
that was my uh, video for this week. Hope you found that of value. Smash that uh, thumbs up button down below. Subscribe. Uh, comment down below any questions you have. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.